In New Zealand, because of plate movement, some areas are being squeezed together and other areas are being pulled apart. That means that the Earth's crust, its skin, is either being squashed or it's being stretched. So in quite a lot of places, it's actually broken. And those are called fault lines. And that is what our model is going to show you. You can make it out of very simple things that you can find really easily at home or in a hardware shop. So it's not difficult to make. It's made of these uh, pieces, a piece of wood, which has 120 grit sandpaper glued onto the top. So this here is the complete setup for our model. We have two AA batteries with the wires coming out. We have a little cheap electric motor, which we bought from the hardware store. And we have a thin piece of fishing line here, attached from the motor to the spring, which is attached to the eyelet on the block of wood. So this block here is one part of the Earth's crust, and this piece is another part of the Earth's crust. They're sitting on top of each other, but they're not attached because they've been broken. There's a fault there. So the motor over here is applying a constant force, a pull, which is going to stretch our spring out like that. Okay, so now we're going to give our model a go. Watch carefully and you can see the spring stretching and then you will see the block moving. Little jumps. And that is what we call an earthquake. The earthquake is when there is movement on a fault line. Now we're going to attach a second block. This could be another part of the same fault, or it might be another fault which is nearby. Often, when there's an earthquake, there are aftershocks, little earthquakes which come after the big one. It started the whole process off. Hey, did you notice? When the main earthquake happened, it put pressure on this block, and there was another one. A little aftershock. It's movements, movements. This spring here is getting more stretched. And away goes our aftershock. So now we've created a model which has three possible different earthquakes. Look how stretched the spring now is. It's a lot of strain on that block. Every time this one moves, that stretches. So I hope you can see how you can make this simple model very easily and with your friends do all sorts of experiments to find out about earthquakes and about fault lines.